Hello again, Paul Kerzuva from QuickLogic. Today we're going to talk about one of our favorite subjects again, which is effective lumens. We've blogged a lot in the past about how lumens is an arbitrary figure, and a lot of people think that it actually determines the quality of a Pico projector, when in reality it doesn't. So what we're going to do today is review a little bit more of the science behind it, and then we're going to do an actual example of a 5 lumen Pico projector from Pop Video versus a 15 lumen competing Pico projector. So a little bit of science. What you're seeing is a typical Pico projected image. Now the image looks okay, but certainly some details are not visible. Let's take that same image, add V to it. The lumen output, or the measured brightness of the light source of the projector is exactly the same. It's obvious that in the V image, details on the right side of the image are much more noticeable. Lumens is a measure of the brightness of the lamp, the LED, or the laser light source used. So lumens equals brightness, but lumens does not necessarily equal viewability, and here's why. Brightness and viewability are related, but not necessarily the same thing. Certainly, as brightness increases, viewability also increases. However, viewability also depends on a number of other factors, including the content's contrast and dynamic range. As those increase, the viewability increases accordingly. This is exactly why the V images appear much more viewable to you, even though the lumen output of the projector is exactly the same. All right, so now that we've done a review, let's get specific. Let's compare Pop against its nearest competitor. Let's first display an image of a very snazzy looking gentleman. On the left, you'll notice that while the image appears to be brighter, there's very little detail in the image. The reason for this is the colors are all overblown, which results in an image that really does not have very good detail. However, on the right, you're able to see details in his face. You're able to see details in the person in the lower left-hand corner. Next, we'll use an example of a very bright native image. On the left, you'll notice many details in this image are completely overblown, allowing you to not see any detail in the foreground or in the background. On the right, the projector with more effective lumens, you'll notice the image is much more detailed and much more readily seen. You'll notice on the more expensive, higher lumen projector on the left, many details in the image are not able to be seen. On the right, you're able to see a lot more in the image. This is exactly what we call effective lumens. This last example, which is a much more scientific model, is an example of how you're able to see differences. Now, if you'll notice in the projector on the left, you're able to see a lot less differences in this image than on the right. This is the more scientific approach to effective lumens. It shows you how you're able to see many more just noticeable differences. Finally, let's show you one more video. So we've looked at enough pictures and we've looked at enough video to understand that a 5 lumen pop video is definitely outperforming a 15 lumen competing Pico projector. And that is directly because the pop video features QuickLogic's V technology, which increases the effective lumens of the Pico projector without increasing the power consumption of the device. For more information on QuickLogic's V, go to www.quicklogic.com V. And for more information on the pop video, go to thepopvideo.com.